National hockey player Seychelle Doily, who is also head girl at Walmart, has earned a spot at one of the world's most prestigious educational institutions, Harvard. And you know, this is one of the schools making up Harvard University. Okay. She's at Harvard College. Um, morning, Seychelle. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. Good morning. I cannot imagine. So I wanted to tell me. How did you feel when you got the news that you were accepted to Harvard? Well, um, I was very happy, of course. But if I'm being honest, Be my honest. friends were more excited than me. They were just extremely happy. I think most of us were in shock, but just share happiness of the, the fantastic news. Yeah. Why Harvard? Um, I believe that, as I said, I've always wanted to go to school abroad, mm -hmm. but um, I was a bit shy about applying and I believe that in the end you're just, you just end up where you're supposed to be yeah. and, and the more I think about it, it's the more I feel that I truly belong there. So I'm just really excited on, it, on it's, going. It, 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 it makes a powerful statement. I, I, I say to young people sometimes that they should dream big mm -hmm. and um, sometimes they believe that that dream is not for me, that I should go to university, but Harvard is so big. How could I go to Harvard? Mm -hmm. um, but you made, someone encouraged you and you made the decision. What are you going there to study? So I want to study the biological sciences. I'm what really saying? interested in that. So biomedical engineering, biomedical technology, anything in that. No, so Seychelle, let's go back up now. Tell me how you reached this journey um, in, in, in science and technology. What was the fascination? From a, from a young age? No, actually. I actually started out not liking science at all. Okay. And um, I think, uh, personally, based on what you said, you know, I, in t not just in terms of schools that are a bit far-fetched, but I felt as if... Um, in terms of science, I wasn't very confident. And, it, and I said, um, I've gotten a lot of encouragement from my friends. They say, oh, why aren't you doing science? Because so you're bright. That's <laughs> bright. what people and, say. And I, I didn't want to fall into that stigma, but it's really something beautiful when you like something and um, just give yourself the opportunity to try it. And I tried it. And um, biology is one of my favorite subjects. Look, here she says she tried. She attained the highest grade possible, mm -hmm. grade one, in 11 CSEC subjects. <laughs> so, shall I see me look for you? Yes. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about your approach to schoolwork. How do you study? How do you prepare? 11 ones is not easy to mm -hmm. achieve. So tell me, how do you? Um, I think when you kind of look at it as the as a big picture, it's a bit intimidating. Okay. When I said when I said to my principal that I wanted to do ten subject, my vice principal, you know, I had to go through her because normally we just the eight or nine, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to choose between um, Spanish and pure math because mm -hmm. I was already doing math. And she, she, we had sort of an agreement to say, all right, if, if you, you maintain a certain average, then fine. But if it's too much, I'm not going to do it. So I was like, challenge accepted. Mm -hmm. And um, really, it, you just have to take it one exam at a time, one day at a time. And I think for me, studying, um, once you have some sort of a schedule timetable, it takes a lot of discipline. I won't say that it was easy, but um, taking it one step at a time was really what helped me. Mm -hmm. You play hockey, national hockey player. I do. Tell me about that. She said, I'm going to go one hockey practice and when there's something chopped me upon my machine, <laughs> that was it. I never went back. So tell me about hockey and your love for hockey, because to play at the national level means there's a passion for it. Yes, there is. Um, I, when I first started out trying out for the national team. Mm -hmm. It was a very hard decision because it was the year of exams and so 
Uh, there is a lot of uncertainty. Should I go? Should I not go? So and you got so you tried for the national team while taking it every subjects? Yes, oh, I okay. did actually. Right. We left in March, so it's 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 our two year sort of anniversary. Um, one month ago, and um, just I believe where I fell in love with the sport was just beyond the field. The type of people that I've been introduced to, I. I'm very grateful for them, and they motivate me in every way, on mm -hmm. the field, mm -hmm. and just with life, you know, and yeah. it draws you to the game more and more. You sound very grounded. Tell me a little bit about your family, um, or, or tell me what, what, what makes you so grounded. I think that I have Church? I've gained a lot of experience in life. Experience, <laughs> yeah? Come up, look here. Uh, Let me I'll go on more, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand that there is so much more yeah. to learn and I don't know everything. So I'm very open to <laughs> advice and, and taking help from people. And I know that where I am right now, I couldn't have done it without some fantastic people in my life. Mm -hmm. Uncle Ian, Miss Thomas, Auntie Cynthia. And so um, just acknowledging that I have been the recipient of such great love and support makes me know that, you know, everything I do, there is a bigger picture outside of myself, and um, I just embrace it as much as possible. And I feel that that drives me to do what I want to do. I think that drives people to support you as well mm -hmm. um, because of, of who you are and the humility that comes with who you are. Thank you. Um, what is your advice? Right now, it's, 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 people think it's easy because the kids are at home. I think it's going to be... They're going to realize how difficult it is in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. What is your advice to, to youngsters at home who would be doing seasick? Right. No, they're preparing. Um, it's very uncertain times. And uh, um, at home, you think it's easy, but there are so many distractions. And I understand it so well. Hmm. And um, I would just say you need to... You need to somewhat surround yourself with your friends at the same time. Don't try to do it by yourself because it just makes it so much harder. So call your friends, um, utilize the Zoom or Skype or whatever um, online platform. And, mm -hmm. um, I know one of my friends decided to, to take things in her own hands um, while the school sorts of figures out how to get back on track and We've been having classes together. Um, some of my teammates and I, we video call and we train together. So connection is important while being safe, of course. So um, try to get a routine mm -hmm. and uh, keep that support system strong. It's uncanny because sometimes we used to cuss the young people, Lord, and on the computer too much. <laughs> Lord, and put down the devices. Now we are thanking God. <laughs> That our young people know how to use the devices yes. and, and how they work. When do you go off to Harvard? I, um, guess, it, I guess with COVID now, you're not quite sure. It, um, it's still a little bit unsure, as mm. you said. But I'm um, moving days in late August. Oh, you're and, good, um, So there's still time. Yeah. And I've been invited to a pre-orientation program for international students. And I'm very excited about that. So I should be leaving at least two weeks before orientation yeah. day to kind of get acclimatized to everything. Seychelle, you've done yourself proud. You've done Wilma's proud. And I have no <laughs> doubt you will do Jamaica proud when you go to Harvard. We're looking forward to great things from you, my darling. It's a name I know we're going to see again and again. Mm -hmm. um, all the best to you. Thank you. And... Um, I'm really appreciative of the support I've been getting from the Woolmouth community, from persons from way back when. It's the, the connections I've been making has been amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm, I'm just happy that um, the support I've been getting, it kind of makes it more real to me because I have been fortunate to be 95% covered in terms of of my expenses and so forth, wow. and I'm halfway there, and I know that I have the support to take me all the way. Awesome. You're a breath of fresh air. Thank you. So good having you this month. It's Walmart. Uh, Walmart. I want to big up Sandra Bramwell as well. Of course. Doing, doing amazing work 
with our young people and placing them in universities and in, in, in most occasions getting scholarships for them. Sandra, thank you so much for what you're doing. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the name, Seychelle Doily. She's going to be greatness, head girl at Bulmas and national hockey player. Up next, BPO workers, they are worried, understandably so, as COVID hits closer to home. We're going to be talking about that. But it's Band Wednesday, Rewind Time. Here is Jesse Royal and the King's Sons Band.